I definitely feel like I'm on the hoarders. If I were hanging you with the hoarders. on camera today, I would have wore a better shirt. And that's another thing. You always invite me and I wear bad shirts. I got to start wearing nice button downs like you. So show, show less tits and more gut. Today's breakfast is oatmeal with apples in it. Wow! What are you going to do today? It's like a steak. Today, we're going to go out and attempt to save our 1031. We're going to go look at a property. It's 89 miles from here. Hopefully, it's going to be a good one. This is it? Mm -hmm. I need more information than this. I know. That's all I could find. Look, wait, hold up. Eat your oatmeal. I feel like one of the three bears in the garage. Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear. This is what they eat going. Bush. definitely said you were being a dick. They said you were abusive, too. Who the hell is he talking to? Alright. Well, what's the bottom line? Are the sprinklers working or not? Alright, so here we are. We're looking at our one of our opportunities to help us with 1031 and defer a bunch of taxes on the gains that we've had on previous properties. This is a long-term hold. We're getting out of the short-term stuff and we're looking at more long-term stuff. It's called diversification, okay? And if I don't have a diversified group here, I don't know what diversified is. So here we are, we're gonna take a walk around, we're gonna look at this place, we're gonna talk about the numbers, and we're gonna decide whether or not this is a good investment for our company. Anything else you wanna know, Rafool? So what, what does Junior have in his template? He has a package. This is the package. Yeah, this tells us everything about the property. You got a rent roll here. We got a tenant schedule. We got I and E's. We got cash flow projections. We got lease terms. We got renewal dates. We got uh, stipulations on how pays what and CAM and different things like that. So this is your standard package. Of course, you got to get more due diligence information because this is just a, a summary of what's actually here. So we need to now, after we decide that we like this place, or if we decide we like this place, we need to download all the leases, read all the leases, go through everything, look at the actual cash flow, look at their CAM reconciliation, make sure that they're recuperating all the money that they're spending and that they're- Recapturing. Recapturing. Recuperating, what's wrong with recuperating? Recuperating something you need to do. Recuper, I do need to recuperate. It looks like you need to recuperate after that long podcast last night. Um, so you gotta recapture all the expenses paid out in uh, CAM so that you profit your rent. Triple net deals are supposed to net you your rent. So whatever the rent is, is what you're supposed to put in your pocket and everything else gets billed back to the tenants. That's the way it's supposed to work. Unless you get stuck with bad leases or the developer cut a special deal to get Publix in or they, or they did something that's not outside of the norm to get the big, to get the big uh, tenants in, the national tenants. Publix is $400 a square foot for sales. Sales is good. Ben is 400 pounds per square foot. <laughs> yeah, I say I take up about three square feet. Parking lots on its leg here. Landscaping's a little rough, but. We got a lot of alligator in here. Alligators, alligators. That's what they call it. They alligator. call it alligator. This would make a nice hair place. Like super cuts, great clip. Is it Timmy? It's gonna be about eight million bucks and you're gonna get about a six cap. So all this is very important here because when it rains, because of this area here, the rest of the property doesn't flood, which is a big concern in Florida, flooding. You know, that's the question. That's a big, that looks like it'll power up the whole center. That thing looks huge. That's huge. Hey, but you know, there's cameras on Publix. Don't get too close to this stuff. Have you ever got in trouble for looking around? 
uh, no, I mean, you know, you're entitled to come out here in public property area and look around. I this mean, but you don't want to get too close. But of course, he does. He wants to go near their emergency equipment and stick his nose around. Like somebody, you know, know and, and then you know the cops are going to come, and it's going to be a big mess because Mike Bonus does what the fuck Mike Bonus wants to do instead of what he's just supposed to do. Look at a big shot. So I don't know. This is definitely something to consider as a good, solid, safe real estate investment. Making a drive-through. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a nice day. He needs to get that fucking thing off the road. <laughs> this one, we actually have a uh, land lease. So we don't own the building. They own the building. Um, we just own the ground that's underneath the building. So that's even, it's good because they're gonna pay us rent based on them having that space. But we're not responsible for anything. You're not responsible for the roof. You're not responsible for the plumbing. You're not responsible for anything that you would be responsible on a typical triple net deal. Um, so this one comes with a ground lease that just adds to the NOI. Uh, so I think that's a great thing. We don't have to worry about anything with this particular out parcel of the building. And you could possibly sell it off in the future. Um, so since this is an out parcel, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe interest rates go through the roof and this property is worth more or, you know, something happens where uh, this is a good investment for somebody else to just come buy this one particular parcel from us. We could sell off that parcel and still own the shopping center. Um, so that's a good thing when you have out parcels. Um, gives you opportunities and different, uh, different paths of exit and different strategies to, to get money. Very good. Well, it seems like you got real strong sales here and the place is busy and it's a great neighborhood. Well, and we got a really good manager here. So what else can we ask for? Nate Olaf. What? Amish ice cream. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh. Everybody keeps commenting. I want to see the numbers. I want to show us the numbers. Show us the numbers. Why? It's my deal. Go find your own numbers. Okay, seriously. You want to see the numbers on the last deal we just did. We looked at it, we inspected it, we closed the deal. Now we got it, baby. We got it, we own it. We bought the property for eight million big ones, baby. Zero, 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 comma, zero, zero, zero. Good thing my thumb's coming back, it still hurts. I hope you know it hurts to do this. I should get at least 10,000 likes for sitting here and writing with my broken thumb and my stitches nerve damage here just to show you the numbers. We went to the bank, our buddy the banker, and he said, sure, I love that property. It's got a great tenant, it's in a great area. They're gonna give us 80%. Why? Because I'm me. Can you get 80%? Probably not, maybe not. He takes time to build that relationship. All right, so here we go. They're gonna give us 8 million big ones. No, we're gonna pay 8 million big ones. They're gonna give us 80%. 80% is 6 million four. A million six down, which we have in a 1031, it has to be used. You got your L-O-A-N and you got your DP, your down payment. The property, we're buying it at a 6.5 cap. Cap just means percent. If you pay 8 million bucks in a place and you're getting a six and a half cap, that means you're gonna get $520,000 in rental income. But we gotta pay our buddy the banker. All right, right now we can borrow at the one month live board at a ridiculous low price. Even with the bank checking on their points, which I beat them down on, we can borrow at 2% right now. Is it going to be 2% next year? I don't know. I ain't got a crystal ball. We're going to get $520,000 a year out of income for the tenants. Six million four times 2% is $128,000 only. And the tenants got to pay the taxes. They got to pay for the insurance. They got to pay for their maintenance. We do nothing. But make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to. That will leave us... $392,000 net after we pay the bank. We only put down a million six. That is a hair below a 25% return on your money in a perfect world, which it's going to be perfect, at least for now. Now remember, it's not paying principal, okay? I still owed a damn six million four. 
Everybody always writes, what about principal? What about principal? I still owe it, okay? But I'd rather have that money in my pocket than sitting in a damn building. Here we go, 25% return on your money, baby. That's the numbers. Read them in, don't weep. What's your minimum return? What do you look like? When you say 15, 20, explain that part. It depends on the asset, okay? If you want to get more money, you might have to take more risk. Or it's not, you know, it depends on the property. If somebody tells me I can get a 15% return on my money, but it's a trophy asset in a place that's like over the top location, I might do it. But typically I want to see 20% return on my money. Okay, this is 25 almost. So this was a good deal for us. Hopefully everything will go smooth and we'll live happily ever after. Like, 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 like. All right, if you want help, you got a deal, you want to do a deal, you don't want to screw up the deal, or you just want a second opinion, go to consult with Ben. Let me tell you, the few bucks you're paying for a file and everything running this shebang here, you'll get your money's worth, I guarantee it. I've already helped guys make decisions on millions of dollars, okay? I got so many thank you letters of people that I've helped, and that's all that counts, helping people. Go to benmallon.com slash shop, consult with Ben. I'm waiting to hear from you. Stick him up, I need a six cap. You scared off of him. <laughs> Emoji blaster.